based on a 1927 short story of the same name by the acclaimed horror writer H.P. Lovecraft, Color Out of Space follows Nathan Gardner, played by Nicolas Cage, as he contends with dissatisfaction with his idyllic farm life in New England. He has a wife, Teresa, who is going through breast cancer treatment, and three kids who occasionally drive Nathan nuts, but they otherwise manage like any other family. Obviously, everything goes to hell once a meteorite crashes onto the Gardner farm. It unleashes a gradual wave of increasingly weird events that seem perfectly designed to drive the family to madness. While a great source of inspiration, H.P. Lovecraft has proven to be a particularly difficult writer to adapt to cinema due to the cosmic nature of his stories which often rely on the horror of the unknown and the audience never fully getting the answers they want. Director Richard Stanley unfortunately reaches too far. The movie loses sight of the scope as the editing gets too frenetic, making the already messy plot feel overwhelming. The problem with Lovecraftian stories is that by nature, all characters are hopeless against the cosmic forces that have drawn targets on their backs. No matter what the characters do, they are simply passengers on a ship they cannot steer or escape. In Color Out of Space, this translates to a feeling of repetitiveness and stupidity with the characters making the same illogical, insane decisions over and over. This may satisfy Lovecraft fans, but it will bore anyone hoping for characters with any type of agency. This is a problem that falls almost completely on the script and direction. Stanley knows how to build an atmosphere but he quickly loses the threat as the film spirals out of control. For most of the second half, the characters frequently change their behavior and act irrationally, but there are no clear rules for what is happening to the farm or how it impacts the characters. The rules of what is happening on the farm are ill-defined and the world building is poorly executed. Nothing is consistent, so as the film progresses, it devolves into a series of repetitive scenes of the family making stupid, seemingly out-of-character decisions without any indication of what is motivating them. This movie feels painfully long. It is a narrative slog. In the end, not even the film's very good visual effects and proclivity for odd and unusual imagery is enough to overlook the meandering plot and grattingly irrational characters. This movie is a bad movie.